Oh, well, God bless him, Jeremy. God bless him. Thanks for telling that story. Absolutely. Thank you for telling that story. Tell us a story about heat. Yeah, that is the story, and it will continue to be the story. And I'm going to show you exactly what season we're in. I know the answer is quick, and it's summer, but I think you'll enjoy this. First, the numbers outside right now. It is Wednesday, and it is hot. We've got a triple digit at Lackland. But then 98 to 99, just about everywhere else. The exceptions you can see at Lavernia, 96. Stockdale and Flores there, Floresville are there too, along with Seguin. New Braunfels at 98. What does your body think the temperature is? The numbers are down a little bit from yesterday. This time yesterday, we were 106 to 107. Right now, it feels like 104 in the city, 108 though in Seguin. Gonzalez feels like 107, Hondo 103. 104 for Del Rio, but look at these 111s down at George West and Beeville. All right, so exactly what season are we in? Well, these are the seasons of South Texas. You've got summer. We're right now right here in second summer. Then we go to false fall, actual fall, mountain cedar season, followed by winter, Christmas, the second winter, kind of spring and spring. <laughs> the seasons of San Antonio. All right, let's recap summer so far. Now this isn't bad 17. That's the amount and this is including today. This is with hitting 100 today and I think we definitely will. Now last year we totaled 75 an all time record and by this time last year we were in the 40s. All right now the average that's where we are right now 18 for the entire year. So we're definitely going to go above average. The average last triple digit day is coming in about a week and a half. And then the latest ever that we've hit 100, September 28th, the earliest ever, just to compare and contrast, was in February. Just shy of that triple digit in San Antonio, we might finish around 99. Elmendorf's at 96. One better at Pleasanton for 97. How about Bolverde coming in with a 93? South wind about 13 miles per hour. And you can expect those winds to pick up this evening. That's when you want to go out for the walk. We're expecting that to be about 8 or 9 p.m. as temperatures get closer to 90 and those southeast winds will gust between about 15 and 20. All right, the dew points are going to stay high and the heat index is going to stay high as well. 105 to 106 on Thursday. And then as we get into Friday, we're expecting a lot of the same, probably 107, maybe even 108. We're still expecting a climb. And we definitely are getting a high demand on fans. So please help keep San Antonio's own cool this summer. With Project Cool, all you do is drop off a brand new box fan to any San Antonio fire station. You can also donate money. Go to kens5.com slash kenscares. And don't forget the pets, too. If it's too hot for your hand on that pavement or asphalt, it's way too hot to walk your dog. Look at these numbers. If it's 97, we're right now at 98. That means it's 145 on concrete, 150 on asphalt. All right, the 14-day forecast from the San Antonio River, several weather impact alert days. They begin Friday and go through Tuesday as we expect the highs to reach 101 to 102, even 103, and that'll put the heat index even higher, maybe 107 to 108, even up to 110 for some of you in the area. We should be holding to about 104 Wednesday and into Thursday the 22nd. Still no chance of rain, and then there's the weekend forecast. 24th and 25th, that is, with highs near 100 as well.